Okay, guys, so we're ready to go. The showdown is coming. It's been a long way. In 2019, the recruitment of a new team started for the 5th I Road edition. Our university has been joining this project for several years and it has always obtained good results. Hey, what about the project? We could participate. I think it's a good idea. We could meet in the lab next week. Guys, welcome in the lab. This new experience you're going to start is very challenging. The mountain to clip is steep, but I can tell you for sure that if you work well as a team, the results will be great. In which fields will we operate? Considering you are in a large number, the team will be divided in three departments. Aerodynamic design, structural analysis and electronics. It seems interesting. I can't wait to start. Unfortunately, the pandemic outburst of coronavirus upset all the plans and this situation made a regular activity in presence during the entire project impossible, discouraging many students. So guys, what a bad luck. Now it's impossible to meet in the lab to carry on with the work. So we should figure out a way to proceed. We should organize the team in departments, as we said before. Let me show you. The first thing to do was the choice between two propellers available in the regulation. Thanks to a homemade test bench, uh, the propeller traction was measured by mounting the engine on the free end of a cantilever beam. The data were acquired uh, simulating different flight speeds and by powering the engine with uh, three different fixed voltages. After the data analysis, the best propeller was selected and it was possible to start with aerodynamic design. This year, one of the most important limitations was the plane dimension, because it must fit in a rhombus with a size of 1.5 meters. So, this rule leads us to a reduced wingspan and distance between main wing and tail, adapting the know-how of past year's editions. We made many analyses to select the best airfoil and plane configuration, thanks to X-Flyer 5 and data found with the propeller test. And at the end, we choose Wortman FX63137 for the main wing, Naka 0009 for the tail, and a monoplane configuration. These choices have allowed us to achieve a good compromise between speed and payload. Another important aerodynamic aspect is the use of a twisted wing that allow us to reduce the induced drag at the wing tips. At the same time, we opted for a V-shaped full-flying tail that guarantees us a good maneuverability. To verify the aerodynamic analysis, we build a first prototype optimized only in the aerodynamic surfaces. This was due to our need to reduce cost and building time. We collected many data from the flights and the results were satisfying. Our airplane's main wing does not have a large wingspan, so it was possible to realize a wing structure lighter than the past years. Moreover, the bending moments are not so relevant. In order to maintain the best compromise between weight and rigidity, we made some static load tests until we reached the best solution. of the payload strongly influenced the dimension and the structure of the fuselage. In particular, two points had to be optimized, the size of the cargo bay and the loading or loading time of the bags. All the design and construction phases were homemade. 
Indeed, a new milling machine was available in our lab. This allowed us to avoid the outsourcing of mold making, sparing money and time, even with some unforeseen difficulties. We had to acquire new skills related to drawing complex 3D surfaces, which led to generate complex cam milling paths. This process required several weeks. At the same time, particular care was put in the design of the external surface to keep them as aerodynamically efficient as possible. For example, the connection of the cargo bay and the wing is a thin, externally shaped, has an ACA 0020 profile. Guys, so we're ready to go. The showdown is coming. It's been a long way. Ready to go? Do we have everything? Yes. 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 Sure? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now we have. After the realization of the second prototype, the team carried on an intense flight test campaign to collect as much data as possible. The data analysis was essential to optimize the aircraft setup. Particular attention was put in the choice of the best wing configuration, with or without flaps, in order to improve the takeoff distance. At the same time, main landing gear configuration was also improved to enhance on-ground maneuverability in crosswind conditions. When the competition aircraft was ready, test flights were focused on the understanding of the aircraft performances with different environmental conditions. This was the basis of an accurate payload prediction. Also, different strategies to use during the race were also simulated with numerous flight missions at variable payload. <laughs> 